Hey, partner, back in the old world, did you and your palico always hunt together? That one's... That's one faithful feline, always by your side, ready to lend a paw. But I'm no slouch either, right? Right? Yep, you are a slouch. Sorry, agent. But you're just kind of sitting in town, scoffing food. It's not the same as what my palico does. Don't even compare, please. Um... Let's, let's, let's hunt the the Baroth. I've gotten a disturbing report of an unusually powerful Baroth roaming the wilds by a waste. Begin your investigation as soon as possible, but where it's mud cake next. We'll start at the eastern camp. I think we're more likely to intersect with its path that way. Let's go! And we crashed again. Hello, Baroth. Ow. So this is an old raffia print here. Here we go. Grab these. Canteen, yeah, I was gonna use the field canteen. Muddy. Super muddy. stem again because of the lack of the food buff I suppose right, he's ran off we'll uh, get a free heal here make sure we pick up any tracks of the, the mega monster I think there's a way to duck in here to this camp there's a Rathian scale here somewhere We're almost done researching this guy. That's cool. Free stuff. Yum, yum, yum. Chef's choice. 50 health. I like.
Back out there with the extra firepower this time. This must be an ancient Wyverian or something. Hello, free stuff please. Area known as 8 is most dangerous. 26% of people have collapsed there. Here's a max potion. Cool. Makes sense to find some of the new Rathian tracks at the old Rathian nest. At least in my mind, it does. I don't really want to mess with the Wyvern egg. Hey, this is new. Dragon Bone Radica. High quality material found in the bone piles. The only remains left of a species of dragon now lost to time. Alright. See if we can get this crash into some walls. I think that was his weakness. Oh no, that was Diablos. Gone for two. Uh oh. Look out, Dory. We'll just try and do a head splitter now, I guess. Uh-oh. Right into the second part of the tail. Are you kidding me? lot of damage. Kind of expecting something in the 120s region on the tail. Uh oh. Yeah, I was trying to grip the tail there, but he, he, he turned with me at the same time.
someday I'll get that tail. I will. I'ma keep on chopping till I get it, but I'll get it. Oh, he's under the bridge. Let's go Gilly Mantle. Super quiet. Super stealthy. Maybe I'll just, uh, instead of trying to do a jump off, we'll just get big combo in. The roar, of course. Oh well. Did we get the tail? We did. Looking good. Doing the limp. Looks like this is another capture in the bag. Ah, oh, but it's one one uh one item short. That's a shame. Rathian discovery, that is. I could have sworn he was limping. We'll try it. We'll just assume. That is so a limp. Don't even don't even try and trick me. We found enough of that mystery evidence. Let's report back to the ecological research team. Cool. Discover the other fishy, but let's let's not hunt him. Let's finish what we got on our plate already. Hello there, wise spot. How's it going? We're uh, hunted some monsters and mon monstering some more hunts. This is the area where I'm not allowed to put down a trap, but we'll get him with a couple of trank bombs anyway. Boom, boom. We'll uh, hit him and go deploy. Whoa! Garlic asparagus. That sounds nice. No such thing as too much garlic, though. I really love garlic bread that's heavily ultra garlic. <laughs> It's a guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I really hate if you buy any like uh, garlic bread from a shop and then it's really light on garlic and you're like, well, what did I pay for? I might as well have just brought a loaf of bread. What? What? What is the point of this? Needs to have garlic. Garlic just coated in garlic. Roll it around in the garlic, flip it, garlic in the middle, garlic on the outside. There's no such thing as going overboard. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I haven't had Pizza Hut in years. Yeah, I'm getting these little gem things now that we can attach to add skills to our character. But it's only for light like, items that have been crafted out of the, the new difficulty, which I, I haven't done any armors like that yet. Now we know the mysteries of the, the new monster, apparently. The question mark Rathian. 
fully discovered. Hey, that was our largest Baroth. Nice, and it had a silver crown next to it. Lots of new optional quests are available, and a new arena quest has been added. And my cat's almost level 16. So good. Yeah, they seem to have these little... Ready to visit ecological research, partner? These little socketable gem jewel things. Let's see if I can find a, a box thing to interact with, and maybe it'll let me put one in. Uh... I can't see anything at night time in this zone. Let's go back to the main city. It just seems to be jewelry crafting from most games. You get a socket, stuff a gem in it, and then you get an extra skill. Ready to visit ecological research partner? Here we go. Pendant settings. No, that's not it. Set decorations. Current equipment. Oh wow, I didn't realize with this one weapon that we made, it's got a, a slot on it. So here we go, we can add in thunder resistance, plus six, attack plus three. Oh, this one goes all the way up to level seven. My god. Uh, the crisis jewel will resuscitate, proves invasion and reduces stamina depletion when afflicted by normal status effects. Wow. While active, greatly improves evasion and vulnerability time and reduces stamina depletion. I might I might equip this one. This one sounds great. The specimen jewel. Decrease the chances of destroying the bodies of small insect monsters, allowing them to be carved. Oh my god, they've made it that into a skill. Oh man. I think of it the other way around, like without this gem. Without this skill, none of the monsters would explode into pieces where I get no loot. Yeah. Heavy artillery increases the firepower of baluster and cannons. Oh wow. You could equip this, go do that Zara Magdaros mission and have the mission go quicker. That's nice. And the scent jewel. Increases your scout fly's gauge fill rate when you find tracks and other traces left by monsters. If I'd equipped this, I would have done this quest quicker. Damn. Oh well. Let's get this crisis jewel in. Make us a, a more dodgy character. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to get all sorts of slots on the on the, the items that you're equipped with on the armor, and also the the neck piece. This is going to be fun. Oh, I should also fix my items while I'm here. Perfect. Anything else I should be doing in town? Y yes. Got a quest up here and the quest over there. Yep, yep, yep. Hey. Half a dozen nice skills, but in the end it's the evade. It's gotta be, right? I want I want more invulnerability while I'm rolling around. It just sounds awesome to me. Plus, some of those debuffs that mess with your stamina are really, really, really bad for combat. Nobody should be messing with my stamina bar. Okay, we can collect the harvest that we got. But we're told we have a new type of fertilizer from a quest. We have the mega fertilizer now. Filled to the brim with nutrients to grow a lot, huge quantity of plants. Lasts for four quests. Oh my god, look at that. Instead of the usual plus two, it's plus six. That's a, that's a lot of extra stuff. Damn. I hope you get more slots, otherwise it's always going to be the evade. Yeah, true. I'm thinking if we make like a high rank armor set, we'll, we'll get tons of slots like maybe a slot in each of them that'd be like another five slots i think there's helm gloves boots leggings chest piece that's quite a lot impeccable timing dear hunter we've made progress with that mystery monster we've determined the monster is currently lurking in the coral highlands won't be long before the commander gives you the official order to be heroes. good luck out there in the field and don't get hurt Okay. 
Also, we've come across a new monster. Throws bombs. And its description is like, hey, this guy's uh, evil and he throws bombs. Look out. And then it's it says down down get him on the floor down him and then hit him in the bomb organs. Do we resist the temptation to put Vade in all the pieces? I can't promise. <laughs> I can't promise I won't. Over here. Ah, just who I was looking for. Members of the ecological research team have pinpointed whatever is it is that made those strange tracks it's in the coral highlands. Once you're ready, sign up for the quest. I need our hunters to ascertain what we're up against. <laughs> is it something bad? Or something worse? Dun dun dun! Whatever it is, we're gonna have to face it eventually. That's what we do here, after all. True. Sign up for the quest, partner. It's time to hunt the monster that left that trail. There is, there is no peace. There is only war. Can you switch armor mid-mission? I think you can. You can go up to the equipment box in the mission and, and change weapons. But yeah, I, I think armor as well, which is kind of helpful. You get some of these missions that want you to hunt multi-monsters, and I guess you could go up a guy against a guy that breathes fire, and then a guy that doesn't, and you'd probably want to swap them out. So I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, you hear the canteen's running out of ingredients. The chef's looking mighty glum in front of his storehouse. Me, I like the journey, not so much the destination. My hands can't sit still till everything is in order. I got an idea, though. How about you give an old man a hand and help look for some stuff? I've set up a delivery quest for you. Do me the honors. Fresh fish, that is faintly sweet aroma. I can almost smell it now. Been years since I've had any, though. Ahem. Wants me to hunt one of the fish monsters. Okay. I'm thinking maybe you can socket different gems, switch the evade set, or the tracking set, etc. Oh, that's clever. I didn't even think of that. That's, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. I really think that's worth setting up. Sisterly Fourth. Okay. Hey, I could use some help. I think you could do me this favor. When it's done, we'll be able to get a new fertilizer made for the ancient tree. Thanks and good luck. The rarest mushrooms only grow on the best fed trees. Talk about picky eaters. A mountain of mushrooms. And they want a cooler Yaku Plume Plus. But if it wasn't obvious, I fear it's not a practical mechanic. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great idea. Because at any point during the map, you can just press select, get the map up and teleport back to the camp during the mission. So it seems like even if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can, you can do that. And then there was like a special item that you can craft or buy that even while you're in combat, you can allow a wind drake to come and pick you up and teleport you back to a camp. So they really do want you to be able to quickly fast travel to the camp, whether you're in combat or not. So I, I suppose that's exactly what they want you to do. Change equipment on the fly. The excuses are all the same. It's it comes cumbersome. I can throw things my own damn self. I'd like to throw him. <laughs> oh man, this guy's getting mad about something. Right, let's um let's go to the forge equipment armor section. Whoa. This was all the low rank stuff we were doing. I didn't even look at like the diver's mask, and the Ablos stuff too much. Odragon. Death stench. Oh. So the cats, when they were out on a mission, they got me this sinister cloth. And it's unlocked an armor set. Death Stench Brain is what the hat's called. It's got Resuscitate on it. Muscle, Grip, Bells, and Heal. Handicraft, Dragon Attack, Focus, Fortify. I don't know what half of this stuff is. But these were some of the monsters I didn't even look at. Oh, wow! It's a Witch Doctor hat! No way! 
So this was off of low rank. I probably should have been making some of this stuff. But then I just got surprised by this menu. High rank. Leather Alpha. Leather Leather Bravo. Chainmail Alpha. That was the one I started with. Chainmail Bravo. So there's high rank versions of all the initial armors. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, oh, this is the, the diver stuff that we just saw off of the... That requires these special summer tickets. Oh my god. So they look a bit different, the alpha version and the bravo version. Oh, this one's got a gem slot on it. But the alpha version doesn't? The alpha version does have windproof on it. And the Bravo version does not. Okay. So if you wear three pieces of the Zora Magdaros set, you get critical status, increase of normal status effect damage, paralyze, poison, sleep, and blast when landing critical hits. Whoops. Blast attack. Increases the rate of blast buildup. All oh, right, it's the element I'm using at the moment. It's cool. So what's windproof? This is the one that you're missing if you select the the altered piece. Slightly reduces the effect of minor wind pressure. And at the top rank, negates minor and major wind pressure. Okay, I don't know what that is. Mostly, I'm assuming it's when a monster is flapping. Wings, or maybe there's a specific monster that that does something like that. So, I, um, hmm, let's go with a really basic piece of armor. Is this the same? <laughs> um, the, okay, the same stats, but the bottom one's got a slot on it, and the top one starts with a skill on it, a rank one skill with six water resistance on it. Okay. So it's always the sacrifice of you lose a skill, but you gain the gem slot, and you can put a skill on it. Yeah, yeah, could be. It could be exactly that. Recovery speed, quick sheath. Oh, when you're doing the EI attack with with my longsword katana thing specifically, it says it gains like bonuses from quick sheath when you do one of the attacks that sheaths your weapon and then you do an attack. So that's nice. Be important for me. So recovery up is increased the amount of health recovered when restoring health. Quick sheath. Oh, it speeds up the, the sheathing speed. So I'm less standing there looking goofy. Recovery speed doubles the speed at which you heal recoverable damage. Oh my god. Speeds healing of recoverable damage, the red port. Oh, right, okay, so it's not when you drink a potion, but it when you get, like, a like damage in the game, if you've got some red bar remaining, it will slowly heal that up. If you're not getting hit anymore, it's kind of a little bit like the rally system, but, like, a passive version of it. What was this one? That was the water resist. This one, gonna lose guard? Yeah, just guard off of this one. So what did guard do? Very slightly decreases the impact of attacks. Reduce knockbacks and stamina depletion when guarding. Oh, well, my weapon doesn't guard. We don't have a block on this one. So I definitely want the version 2 of this with the gem slot, because I don't want the skill. These are really interesting. And there are so many arms. <laughs> oh, God, I'm paralyzed with choice. Hmm. I might pick up this thing with extra blast attack. Seem that seems nice. It's got fire resist on it as well, which is sometimes what enemies are breathing right at me. Yeah, 
I'm going to make the, the Type 2 of the Zora Magdaros chest. And we're going to lose out on that Windproof. Because it's only such a small amount of Windproof. The decision is made. It is done. Yeah, we'll equip it now, sure. What does tremor resistance do? Grants protection against ground tremors. Nullifies minor ground tremors. And as you rank it up, you get a bit of resistance to major ones, and you can then fully nullify major ones. Fortify. Increases attack by 10% and defense by 15% with each use. Temporarily increases your attack and defense every time you faint, up to two times. The more you lose, the more you win. Again, I, I like the idea of the extra gem slot to put in whatever I want. So we'll make the, the Bravo, or the Beta version of this. Ah, oh, I don't have enough stuff for the boots now. Damn. So let's see if I... Hmm. So both of these count towards the Zora Magdaros Mastery, but I'm, I'm guessing if I want the extra bit, I would need to find the parts for the third one. That's fair enough. Let's upgrade it as well. Oh. I don't have the, the quest completion to upgrade it further by the look of it. So if we go to set decorations on equipment. Ah yeah. Attack duel goes in. Plus three more attack. Cool. already got both of those equipped and we only own one of them. Let's go with the Scent Jewel. Increase your Scout Flyer's Gauge Fill Rate when you find monster tracks and other traces left by monsters. Just seems like a dang good idea. Alright. Cool. We'll visit the canteen and then we'll go out and we'll, we'll hunt this new guy. Fifty health, fifty stamina. Yes. And an entirely new FMV. Well, it's the same as the one that was the very last time we went to the uh, thing, but it's definitely different from the first one. Oh, that one's got King Prawns on it. Yum. Yum. <laughs> 